What's up everybody? Thanks for clicking on the channel. So today I'm going to take you to the streets of Lincoln, New Mexico. So this is a video I took many years ago uh, when I was in town doing research on Brushy Bill Roberts who claimed to be Billy the Kid. We had stayed at the Wortley Hotel the night before, uh, which is an awesome place. The owner's awesome. It's kind of like a bed and breakfast. The food was amazing. It was really, really fun and cool. Plus Lincoln is an absolutely beautiful town. It's quiet. It's nice. It's right there in the mountains. It's really, really cool. So not only is it historically significant, but it's a really kind of a nice place to go. Now, disclaimer, this is a video I made for myself or my kids or my wife. I don't know why I made it, but I was excited to be in Lincoln. It was my first time there. Uh, and I just kind of rolled out of bed, threw a sweater on and uh, went out into the streets and started exploring and filming. So they were doing construction and uh, I knew a lot of people would be around. It was gonna get hectic. So I wanted to really get out before anybody was around. So I'm up in Adam, I'm out the door. I hadn't even had coffee yet. And I'm enjoying my morning, but you can tell that this wasn't meant for public consumption because my hair is absolutely atrocious. My clothes don't match. Uh, I have bed head. Like it's it's pretty bad actually. So anyway, it, um, I'm up and at them and I'm out there. I just want to kind of explore and whatnot. So normally I'm very, very cautious that I have documentation and that I make sure that we're accurately representing everything. When I'm kind of talking to myself, making a home movie, uh, you can't expect the same standard, or I hope you don't expect the same standard. But just in case you do, I have a few disclaimers before I show the video. Number one, in my last video, I said Alexander McSween's house was a two-story house. I know it's not a two-story house. It is a single-story house. It is a U-shaped house. I think I meant to say two-sided house because in this video, I say it was a two-sided house, a U-shaped two-sided house. So I don't know what I was thinking, but I misspoke. I do that sometimes and uh, it wasn't intentional. Number two, Billy the Kid and his friends did come out of the McSween house in waves. I got it. I know it. Uh, I say in this video that Alexander McSween was killed right here. I don't know if he's killed right there. I actually don't think he was. I think McSween actually went out the front door with a Bible in his hand and was mowed down. Uh, Brushy Bill just says that he came out and uh, Alexander McSween's law partner went in front of him and was shot down. He says he was blazing with two guns. He says he thinks he killed Bob Beckwith there. He said the guy behind him, I think he said got shot down. Um, and now in my first, actually in this video, I say, I don't know why he came out this way. Well, now I do know why he came out that way. There's a ton, there was a stable behind Tunsil's store. So I'm sure he was going for a horse. I would guess he was going for a horse. Don't know, but that's probably, uh, what he was doing is going for a horse behind Tunsil's store. Of course, it didn't work out. He had to go across the river. So that's number two. Number three, I keep saying in these videos that there were soldiers behind the house up on those hills. Now, today there's trees kind of blocking it. Back then, I think those trees were a lot smaller. And I do actually think there was a couple soldiers in those hills uh, as sharpshooters, like testing out the range of their rifle and just taking pot shots at the house. Um, and I don't remember, I, that may be in the, in the uh, court martial of Colonel Nathan M. Dudley, which is now published by Gail Cooper. Um, but I think it might be in there. It might be in uh, Brushy's story too, but not the point. Again, in the video, I just keep saying it. That's certainly not where the majority of the soldiers were. Remember, they were in this house for two or three days. And so, you know, they weren't up there 24 seven for sure. At night, I'm sure they weren't up there. So I don't know if it was a couple guys taking a break, what they were doing, but uh, it seems like there were soldiers up in there. It doesn't really matter, but I keep saying it. I just want to be clear about it. Lastly, I talk about Sheriff William Brady getting shot down. Now this one I'm pretty confident on as far as what Brushy said. He said he was behind the fence between the Tunstall store and the McSween house and that uh, William Brady was walking down the street. There was four of them. They got shot and uh, he ran out there to get the pearl handled six shooter he had bought in San Antonio. So this is in my book. I talk about it. Now I do point and say Sheriff William Brady was killed right here. You may know he was killed two feet to the left, two feet to the right. Don't know. But generally speaking, that's what Brushy Bill said. He was killed in front of the Tunstall store. And I think I got that right in the video. But again, this is just me talking to myself. And if you think differently, you want to put it in the comments. No problem. So those are my disclaimers. I hope you like it. It's really cool for me to be able to walk down the streets of Lincoln. I'm able to do it where there's no cars, just like the old days. And for me, it was a really special, fun experience. So I hope you enjoy the ride uh, coming along with me. And thanks for watching. Old Lincoln, New Mexico. Home of Billy the Kid. They're excavating these sidewalks. And I can't help but wonder if there's some old silver dollars and maybe even some bullet casings. Underneath these streets. I have to go down a bit though. So I'm heading east. Down the streets of Lincoln. Matter of fact, since there's no cars, I want to really walk down the streets. Like they used to do back in the days of Billy the Kid. 
can't really tell when the cars are out. But uh, it's very quiet when they're not. Walking the streets of Lincoln, New Mexico. Seems to me that this end of Lincoln would have been Tunstall side. Although Sheriff Brady had a house at the very end of this street on the left. This is where the main home was. It's a big empty lot. And right here would have been where Colonel Dudley, with all of his troops, surrounded the house, along with the Murphy Dolan faction. I don't know that those trees were there, probably not. But there were sharpshooters on the hills back there. And um, this is it. This is where they were. I think it was a U-shaped building starting left, facing the street and going to the back. An adobe wall. We'll look at that in a second. For now, here's the Tunstall store. There's a slat board fence apparently connecting the house to this building and here's Dolan's house right across the street of course he built that after Lincoln County War was over but uh, I'm guessing about here is where Brady was killed because Billy and his buddies were behind this wall Billy Matthews is the one Brushy Bill claims that he was shooting at. Yeah, so he would have been shot right here. And then as the guys ran for cover, you see how quiet it is. And as the guys ran for cover, Billy ran out here, grabbed the pistol, and ran back and was wounded. You can see it's not that far. Of course, it's pretty far under combat conditions, but they weren't far at all. So he ran out here, grabbed his pistol, and ran back. Here comes a car. This is Tunstall store. I mean, you can see just how big this is. Kind of a nice display of wealth, I think, for Tunstall, who lived here, but also had a big ranch. So obviously he had a lot of money. Now, Houston Chapman was also killed here. He was a lawyer for Mrs. McSween. This is private property. There's either Tunstall or the other guy's grave marker, but it was actually behind this house when she moved it because she doesn't like people in her yard. Eh, screw history, you know? Whatever's convenient for these people. So I'm walking right now. Walking right now where Brady and Houston Chapman were killed. Jesse Evans stood right here. And Jesse James, apparently. I'm not going to go too much farther down because what's the point? This is where the action is. And William Brady may be coming from his house up the street, tootling along and gloating about uh, how successful they had been in killing Tunstall, talking it up. Billy Matthews, according to Brushy Bill, there's four of them. And yeah, yeah, it's all good. Bang, bang, I'm dead. There we go. Billy would have been right up here behind the adobe wall. Yeah, I'm thinking Houston Chapman was killed right about here. Houston Chapman was killed right about here in the street. And so was Sheriff William Brady. Corrupted law enforcement. So we need to call Okay, so here's the house. Kid was in here. They finally set it on fire in the back where that clearing is. House burned all day. About nighttime, they decided to make a break for it. So apparently there's corrals back here and different things. There's a fence along here. And there was a gate getting out of the fence. The northeast corner. This would be the northeast corner. And so 
Lily the kid and the boys decided to make a break for it. So the first one out the door was uh, McSween's law partner. A lot of people died right. A lot of people died right where I'm standing, including Alexander McSween. So his partner comes out, gets dropped. Billy the kid comes right out behind him. I guess there's an enclosure here somewhere. He's popping off both six shooters. He's running for the Tunstall store. I don't know where he's gonna go. Maybe there was a, another entrance or something. And the gunfire was overwhelming, so he turned and ran. Now, here's some steps. I don't know that he actually made it to these steps or how old these are, but according to Brushy, he runs towards the river. And I did this yesterday, but I didn't have audio. But he runs down here, Brushyville says there's undergrowth and things. And I believe he went right down this path and right across that river. He says he lost his hat and one of his six guns in that river, which means it should still be there. Which means I just really like to find it. Probably downstream a bit. The river's not wide, but it's exactly as he described it. A lot of undergrowth, a little rushing water. Now it looks like they may have put in a, a drain here. Other than that, I think this is pretty much what we had to deal with. So I mean, imagine at night, there's dozens of people shooting, dozens of people dead. So the river would be right there on the other side of that tree running down this way. Beautiful spot. But you know, between the sound of the water and the darkness, nobody's gonna come hunting Billy the Kid out here at night because that would be a bad idea. That would be a bad idea. But I'm thinking he came right through here, down those steps, and maybe right down through here. Looks like it's been a trail forever across that river. That's how he escaped the Battle of Lincoln. And it ended it for everybody but Billy who continued to fight until he was captured. And then uh, his buddies killed, imprisoned in the Lincoln County Jail. But what a sight this must have been. House on fire, people everywhere, hooting and hollering. The army here. Sharpshooting, people positioned all over the place. It's interesting that they Treated to McSween's house. Maybe it was taller, I don't know. Maybe it had a better defensive position. Maybe it was more strategic. I know the bad guys were positioned all over the place around here. And uh, they were winning. The good guys were winning until uh, Colonel Dudley shut up with his soldiers. <laughs> there must have been a foundation here and it would have been leveled off. This is it, man. This is, uh, the kid probably slept here. They cooked here, they ate here. I'm gonna this one's piano here. Ooh. All right, that's it for now. A true song of Billy the Kid. I'll sing of some desperate deeds that he did. Way out in New Mexico, long, long ago, when a man's only chance was his own forty.